happy hump day today is wednesday and today is the day that brian and i are leaving once again for a business trip in bruton alabama that is where we are headed today um we are going to be there for the next two nights uh tonight and tomorrow night and then friday we will be home for about a week and then we head on out again for another business trip so anyway yeah so we are kind of like really really busy 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 um but that's a good thing that means business is good and that's a good thing for brian because that means his business is good so it's always a good thing when we're on the road um well not always on the road, but it's a good thing when we do need to be on the road because then those companies are interested in the software and he has to go demo it. So that's always a plus. Anyhow, so yeah, I have all of my stuff packed up and ready to go. I'm about ready to go um, finish uh, securing my other suitcase and closing it up. Um, I just wanted to go ahead and put another a shirt or two in there. The weather is going to be like iffy like this morning we woke up here and it was like 37 but it's going to warm up to like 50 and then when we get down south it's going to be like 54 and like tomorrow's supposed to be in the 60s and then on our way home on friday 50s 60s so we're just kind of playing the weather by ear it's so crazy down here with this time of year with the weather it's crazy so it gets a little annoying i'm wearing a sweater that i got at walmart.com it is super cute i've never been big on like these high neck um shirts i don't even know if this is considered like a turtleneck or not but anyway i've never been a big fan because they drive me crazy um, i can't exactly wear a necklace with it either because then you can't see it but it kind of like, you know, covers up my double chin. So that's kind of a nice thing. But anyway, I like it though. It's not real heavy and it's kind of got, you know, see-through like holes in it. Like it's kind of holy. It's so it's good for church. Um, anyhow, so yeah, so I probably won't vlog um much today uh because obviously we're going to be driving about four hours, four and a half hours or so to get to Bruton. So, um, yeah, but I will vlog once we get there. There's really not much to do around Bruton. Um, the place that we are staying at, though, is super, super cute. I cannot wait to actually see it. I've seen pictures of it online, and um, this is our first time ever staying at an Airbnb, so this is going to be like a very cool experience for us. I'm excited to share it with you guys. I found out this morning that the sheriff of Bruton, whatever, owns it, so that's kind of nice. I feel a lot safer now that... Um, that it's owned by the sheriff so real nice but anyway so yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and finish getting the rest of my stuff packed up and i will probably see you guys once we arrive in bruton i'm not exactly sure yet if we're gonna stop off at our little pecan factory we tend to do that from time to time stop go to the bathroom or whatever because it's right like before there or it's close to there or maybe an hour from there um but anyway so and i don't even well we may not even pass i don't even know if we're gonna pass that or not to be honest with you. Anyway, if we stop off there, I will definitely let you guys know. Um, I will take you guys along with us inside of there and, you know, see what they got. Anything interesting. Usually just go to the bathroom and kind of walk right back on out, but it's always just a cute little stop for us. So anyway, um, yeah, with that being said, I'm going to go and I will see you guys on the road. Bye. Alrighty, so we made it to Bruton and we are eating at Camp 31 Barbecue and the Hourglass Banquet Room, which this is probably the banquet room right there, but this is the Camp 31 Barbecue. Hi. And Brian already went in because he is getting a table for us. And you guys, the cottage that we're in is super, super darn cute. Camp 31. Very I cute. I love their like old toolbox that they have for their paper towels and all of their stuff. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. And little kid crayons. How cute. They're gonna be very good. Of course. But we are at this is what it is. Oh my gosh, I'm very excited about this because I'm Did so you hungry. See tomorrow night? So for like an appetizer besides wings, we also got like fried dill pickles. And these look amazing. Like yeah, but we're just right around the corner from the cottage. Oh, we gotta go to Walmart. Right. So I got baby back ribs, a full slab, which is ridiculous. 
baked potato, baked beans. We have hot wings, and Brian got a steak over there with baked potato and macaroni and cheese. And we're gonna have a lot of leftovers. It's okay. Y'all, we have done some damage, but we also have leftovers. So we have two little boxes there, and this one right here, and this is like full of the ribs, which we knew we were gonna do because there was a full rack. So now we're gonna go to Walmart. Nice Good and morning, friends, and welcome to Thursday. We are in Bruton, Alabama. We got here yesterday evening around 5 o'clock, and um, we quickly came into our little cottage and we fell in love with this place. It is the cutest little cottage, cutest little Airbnb. This is our first time ever staying in an Airbnb. Um, I have stayed in an Airbnb several years ago when I went on a girl's trip to Charleston and I was like, nope, never doing it again. That was the worst experience ever. I was grossed out the entire time. It was just a horrible, horrible experience. And I'm like, I don't like Airbnbs. I'm never gonna stay in one. Well, unfortunately, because Bruton doesn't have a hotel and this is where Brian needed to be for this work demo, um, we decided to check into an Airbnb because that's what the company kind of suggested. So they suggested this place and I'm so thankful that they did because Brian's just five miles down the road, not far at all. So it was very, very close and very, very convenient. It is a very small town though. So like I said, there's no hotels here. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take you guys on a little tour of this cottage. This is called the Cottages on Underwood. So if you guys are ever in Bruton, Alabama, you guys can check out these little cottages and there's one right next door to here as well and I'll show you guys that one when I go outside and show you guys the entrance and the front of the building and everything. It is super, super cute. We absolutely love it. We slept so good last night. I've been very, very pleased with everything. So I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna take you guys outside and we're gonna start this tour. Yay! Just a quick disclaimer too, before I start the main tour, um, we've already stayed here one night. So if you guys kind of see things that are just like, you know, oh, why is that there? It's because we've stayed here already one night. So things are kind of like in different places and whatever, but I try to put everything back to where it was when we first came in here. So um, it'll look just like this. So, okay. okay so if you guys see that church right over there, that church plays the most beautiful music and it did it at nine o'clock this morning, which was about 30 minutes or so ago and it did it again last night at six o'clock. It was so pretty. But that is the other cottage that is right there. That is the other cottage, that is cottage B. And this is cottage A. This is our little cottage. I'm sure the grass is completely wet and soaked, but this is what our little cottage looks like. I mean, how adorably cute is this thing? I mean, it is the cutest, cutest little cottage. I love the pots, I love the lanterns as lights out here. It is just so cute. They did such a wonderful job decorating this place. the in 
inside of this cute little cottage. I love all of the detail inside of here. I love the shiplap on the walls. I love the open shelving for the kitchen stuff, like the plates and the bowls and the cups and everything. Super, super cute. It has a microwave. It does not have a toaster. So I was a little disappointed in that because we kind of grabbed Pop-Tarts last night at Walgreens and I ended up having to put my Pop-Tarts in the microwave this morning and nobody likes mushy Pop-Tarts. I like mine crunchy. So no toaster. So that's a kind of like a, a thumbs down, but I mean, I could use a toaster. I usually carry a toaster with me especially when we travel to Disney. I don't carry one with me when we go do stuff like this because normally we're in a hotel, they have free breakfast, whatever, but here at a place like this, you'd think that they would have a toaster. No big deal. I wish I would have known because I would have brought mine. Um, they do provide you with like plates and silverware and stuff like that, but we haven't really used any of that stuff. Um, I'm trying to keep like as much like dishes down as possible. We do have two coffee cups inside of the sink here. One just kind of looked a little yucky to me and then one Brian used, but they do provide you with, you know, hand soap and dish soap and all that good stuff. That's my frozen water. Um, there is a microwave paper towel towels, all that good stuff. There's like a Keurig um, that they give you here. Um, these drawers were kind of unorganized and so it was driving me crazy. But um, this is like their silverware and all that good stuff in here. And then this is like their garbage bags and paper plates and stuff. Again, kind of drives me crazy. It's so unorganized. And then down here, you know, towels and everything. And then this is a Lazy Susan that has like all the kitchen like bowl um, pans and pots and pans and stuff in here that you could use. And then over here is like the dishes and stuff where you can put the dishes, glass cleaner, etc., etc. And then of course this is the refrigerator. And it already had like ice in here. Brian put his candy bars in there. I'm not using this ice. I'm using the like ice maker ice because I don't know how long that's been in here. And then we just have our waters down in here and then our leftover food from last night. And then over here on this little table, which is super cute, it's got two little bench seats right here. Um, this is kind of where I put my makeup on this morning. This is kind of been where we have been keeping some of our toiletries because there's no place in the bathroom to keep our toiletries. So we just kind of been keeping them here. And then I won't put this away until obviously we leave tomorrow. But yeah, I mean, for the most part, it is super, super cute. And we have definitely been so pleased with, um, pleased with it so it's very cute so um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my insta story now and post this on Instagram I'm gonna do it on my phone though um, this one's gonna be on my YouTube channel then afterwards I'm gonna go to Walmart so I will see you guys at Walmart bye Alrighty. okay so I'm back from Walmart and it's funny I was reading comments a few minutes ago and I just want to thank the person who decided to point out all of my wrinkles on my face because of my eyeshadow I appreciate appreciate that. Thank you so much. Anyhow, um, I want to show you guys what I picked up from Walmart, uh, because that's just what I do. <laughs> okay. So anyway, so I went to Walmart. I picked up this, um, Pioneer Woman Bowl because I got some lemons for my water and I needed a bowl to put them in. So, um, it was just like $4.98 or something like that for the bowl. So again, I did not like get anything stupid expensive, um, but I do like the bowl, so I can definitely use it at home. And then I got two lemons. Um, I got some small travel um, scope because I did not refill Brian's uh, mouthwash up or our mouthwash up for travel. Um, I got a knife that was like $1.98 or whatever so I can cut up my lemons. I got half and half for Brian's coffee. I got some um, whipped uh, cream cheese for my pretzels which are right there. I picked up some conditioner because I was about out. Um, I picked these up for our travel toothbrushes. Uh, I picked up the Tender Bites because Brian and I love just kind of like munching on those. There's my pretzels I got for snacking for my cream cheese. I love dipping those in cream cheese. I got some more water and then I got some toilet paper because um, they only had like a um, a roll here. It's, it's not even a full roll. It's like a half a roll. And, um, I'm like, uh, we probably should probably get some toilet paper and I don't want to have to bother them. So it's like not a big deal. I mean, I can just take it home and use it. So it's not like it's going to go to waste. So I got some toilet paper and that's all I got. So I'm going to go ahead and put the water in the fridge, my cream cheese in the fridge. I'm going to cut up my lemons, put those in my water and in the fridge. And then I'm going to warm up some of the leftovers from last night's dinner. And that's, what's going to be my lunch for today. So, and then I thought about like, 
I'm gonna go out and explore. I'm gonna go downtown or whatever and explore. So yeah, I think I'll go do that in a little bit, but at first I'm gonna have some leftover ribs. No, it is doing music. Oh my gosh. It is doing music. It is so pretty. Sorry, I can't be still. I'm trying to do Instagram too. It is doing music too. That is so cool. That is so neat. So pretty. Neato. All right, so I came downtown. Oh my gosh, I hear another church doing the same thing. Wow, all these churches around here have such beautiful music. Anyway, I came down here to this part of town because I wanted to see this huge waterfall. This thing is huge. This is such a pretty waterfall. And it's so quiet and peaceful here. They got chairs you can sit outside and enjoy. Nice. Love the flowers there. You guys, I've been looking for this sign the whole time I've been here just like driving around and I finally turned down this one street and found it. And there it is. Bruton. So cool. I love murals like this. Very cool. I guess somebody painted it. So neat. Bruton, Alabama. Alrighty, well that was fun exploring this teeny tiny city. <laughs> really nothing around here. I was looking for like a park, but when I got there it was like a dog park. And I'm like, I don't want a dog park. But I was happy that I did find that Bruton sign, because that was something that I had um, wanted to find while I was here. I had seen it. Um, like in like on Google or whatever things you want you want to check out while you're here. So I uh, I'm glad that I found that but now I think I'm just gonna I guess sit here and watch some TV and You know chillax a little while. I'm gonna probably start getting this video up and start editing it That way hopefully it could be up by tomorrow depending on how fast Wi-Fi is here I'm not exactly sure we do have Wi-Fi, but I'm not exactly sure how quick it is So yeah, I think I'm just gonna sit here kick back relax watch some TV and hope That the stupid impeachment crap is not on something I can find something decent to watch So uh, yeah, I'll check back in with you guys a little bit later I do know that Brian and I are gonna go back to that same barbecue place to eat tonight for dinner um, Because it was so good and they're having like tonight's prime rib and I'm like uh, yes, please prime rib sign me up. So um, that's where we're gonna go for dinner tonight So I will see you guys a little bit later. Bye